Dear children, in this module, we are going to learn about how the neuron generates and conducts a nerve impulse. We have learned that the information across a neuron is in the form is carried in the form of electrical impulses, and that is why information travels at a very fast rate across the nervous system. So we are going to learn how the nerve impulse is generated and it is conducted. The generation and conduction of nerve impulses has three steps. They are the maintenance of a resting membrane potential, action potential and propagation of an action potential. So impulse transmission is electrochemical process. It is transmitted in the form of electrical and a chemical process. And these are the three steps. Let us learn these three steps in detail. Now first let us learn about the first step that is maintenance of the resting membrane potential. Neurons are excitable cells that means they can get excited and how they can get excited it is because they get polarized the membrane of the neuron gets polarized and how the membrane is getting polarized that we will learn first. The neuron membrane there is a membrane of the neuron. They have certain ion channels present on them. And these ion channels are selectively permeable to certain types of ions. When the neuron is under rest, that means the neuron is not conducting any sort of impulse. The axon membrane, this is the membrane of the axon. It is more permeable to K plus ions. It is more permeable to K plus ions. That is potassium ions. And it is impermeable to sodium ions and negatively charged proteins which is present in the axoplasm. The cytoplasm of the axon is called as axoplasm. So which are the ions? The, ax the axon membrane is permeable. It is permeable to K plus ions. And it is impermeable to sodium ions and also negatively charged proteins which is present in the axoplasm. Now... The concentration of K plus and negatively charged ions in axoplasm is high. Okay, so there exists a charge difference. Inside the axoplasm, there is greater concentration of K plus ions and negatively charged proteins, whereas it is having less concentration of sodium ions. Positively charged sodium ions is less in the axoplasm, whereas the fluid outside the axon it contains greater concentration of sodium ions and less concentration of K plus and negatively charged proteins. Is it clear? So the fluid outside the axon, okay, the fluid outside the axon, it contains lower concentration of K plus and high concentration of sodium. As a result, an ionic difference is developed across the membrane under when it is at rest. So, it forms an ionic or concentration gradient across a resting membrane where the neuron is not conducting any sort of impulse. So, we can see this is the axon, axoplasm and we can see there is greater concentration of K plus over here and negatively charged proteins and less concentration of sodium ions. Whereas outside there is greater concentration of sodium and less concentration of potassium. This ionic gradient, this difference in the ionic gradient is maintained by active transport of ions. Active means utilizing energy. Active transport of ions by certain pumps which are called as sodium potassium pumps. These are the sodium potassium pumps which actively transport the ions across the membrane. And it is maintaining this ionic gradient that is greater concentration of sodium outside and greater concentration of potassium inside. So it transports three sodium ions outwards. Okay, there will be less amount of sodium ions in the axoplasm. So the soda, sodium potassium pump transports three sodium ions out, outwards and two potassium ions from outside is pumped inside. Is it clear? As a result, the outer surface becomes positively charged due to the greater accumulation of sodium ions. And the inner surface becomes negatively charged. That means it is having greater amount of negatively charged proteins. And thus it gets polarized. That is an electrical difference acquires or develops on either side of the membrane. This electrical potential which is developed across the resting plasma membrane or the neural membrane is called as the resting potential. So first let us learn what is resting potential. The difference in the electric charges 
the electrical potential differences across the resting plasma membrane of the neuron of the, or of the axon is called as the resting potential that is outside the that is outside uh, the fluid outside the axon is having positive charge and inside the axoplasm that is negative charge so the second step is the production of an action potential suppose a stimulus is applied a change in the environment is perceived and a stimulus is applied the membrane at site a this is a long axon and this is a site a and let us consider this as site b and the stimulus is acquired at this particular site site a what happens immediately at that site the membrane becomes permeable to sodium ions it starts to that it becomes more permeable to sodium ions this causes a rapid influx that is inflow of sodium from outside to inside okay and reversal of the polarity at that particular site that means it develops a po opposite polarity which was developed earlier earlier outside it was positive and inside it was negative when the sodium ions flow inside due to the increased permeability of the membrane at the site of uh, stimulus perseverance what happens the negative charge is developed inside and positive charge is developed outside so there is a reversal of polarity at that particular site that is at the site a and this site is said to be depolarized initially the whole axon was polarized but where at the site where there was a reversal of charge it is said to be depolarized and this electrical potential difference during depolarization at the site of depolarization the electrical potential difference across the plasma membrane of the neuron is called as action potential or this is called as a nerve impulse is it clear so initially there was positive charge outside and inside the axon there was negative charge at the site of uh, where the stimulus has been has been received it becomes more permeable or increased permeability of sodium ions is seen as a result sodium ions move from outside to inside and there is a reversal of charge so positive charge accumulates inside and negative charge accumulates outside and this potential difference at the site of depolarization is called as action potential or is called as a nerve impulse now what happens the third step this electrical potential this action potential or nerve impulse has to be transmitted throughout the axon so that's called as propagation of the action potential at the site ahead that is at the site b we can see inside it is the same as uh, before that is inside there is negative charge and outside there is positive charge what happens outer surface is positive and inner surface is negative as a result the current flows on the inner surface from site a to site b that is from site a the current flows from a to b whereas on the outer surface the current flows from b to a is it clear so inner surface the current flows from a to b and outer surface the current flows from b to a to complete the circuit hence the polarity is reversed and the action potential is now is generated at site b what happens in the site a it becomes uh, inner side becomes negative and outer side becomes positive but due to the transfer of circuit what happens in the b re site the inner surface or inner region becomes positively charged and outer side becomes negatively charged the action potential which was generated at site a now moves to site b so it has arrived the action potential has arrived at site b now the sequence is repeated along the axon it goes further that is from site b it moves to the next forward site and outside um, and from outside imagine the next site is c so from inner in the on the inner side the charges move from b to c and outer side from c to b so this continues throughout the axon and the impulse is conducted the rise in permeability to this sodium ions at the arrival of a stimulus is very short lived and it is quickly followed by a rise in permeability to potassium ions so immediately the sodium ions permeability comes down and the increase uh, permeability of potassium ion uh, it goes up so immediately the k plus diffuses outside the membrane and it restores the resting membrane that outside becomes positively charged and inside it becomes negatively charged and thus the fiber becomes ready for further stimulation so this is the three steps maintenance of resting membrane potential 
second step is the action generation of the action is potential and third is the propagation of the action potential so dear children in this module we learned about the generation and conduction of nerve impulses thank you